Brett Kobernick with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. And I'm just down here on the Fish Lake National Forest checking out the uh, snow conditions and some recent avalanches that have occurred. So we've got some weak snow out here from this season's very uh, lean conditions that we've seen so far. And we're already seeing some avalanches like you can see in the background right here. And what the deal is here is we've got this old weak snow near the base of the snowpack and now we're starting to load snow on top of it and this stuff just is not going to support very much weight so this is the early season snow and you can see that it's pretty large grains you can hear it on my glove and it's really crystally kind of like sugar now this stuff from christmas it's still loose and sugary but it's a finer grain not quite as loud smaller grains it's still sugary and loose both of these layers are going to be bad news, there's no question. These are both going to uh, end up producing quite a bit of collapsing and cracking. And we've already experienced quite a bit of um, cracking on the way up here. Just on the little test slopes that we've hit with the machines, you get the thing to collapse and spiderweb out. So obvious signs of danger up here. Now these aren't real big, but the concern is, is once we put more snow on top of this, once we start laying that more snow down, these weak layers are going to fail and things are gonna get worse before they get better. After last year's very stable conditions, we're gonna to need to adjust our riding styles. We're not gonna be able to punch all those big slopes that we were punching with confidence last year. It's gonna be a much different situation this year.